Hi everyone, uh, we are going to do a service. This is of a cabin. I thought we'd do the hardest first. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just take you through. I've been asked a couple of times uh, with our new people. Um, they bought motels or, or caravan parks. Uh, about the cleaning regime, chemicals, all that sort of stuff. So, in this park they have golf carts. Uh, Colour coded, COVID spray, uh, bowl cleaners, everything there. It has cabins and um, executive suites. So some are uh, soaps and things which are in here. And then the baskets are the um, all the all the linen and everything. So what you're going to see is my routine, which is an old routine um, as we go. And I'll just leave this running. I'll talk talk to you guys as I go. I'm just going to go out get uh, bring in everything I need. I bring everything in, and then I have a quick look around to see what needs to be done, and then I work through a routine. Um, and you don't do, I think the misconception is that you do everything every time, which you can't. You can't ask your staff to do that, and that's where you get your staff turnover if you're unrealistic on your expectations. So anyway, I'll be back in a second. So you're going to see the colour-coded red for bathrooms, blue for kitchen and uh, the rest of the room which is uh, common and sometimes you'll have a yellow just for kitchen but blue is fine now yeah, I'm tipping my laundry out this has uh, two singles and a double so I get that out of the way so that I can put all my linen into the empty basket now yeah. And saying that I'm show I'm just showing you one system. And I mean I don't do the same routine all the time. You work as you go, so you might work. But the principles are the same. Top outside first, and you work in, and floors last, obviously. So you're looking for different things. Glass is always first and shiny surfaces in, in both the unit bathroom and also as you run through you'll see me do take the top linen which is a shower curtain in this instance a bath mat and a hand towel I do those first so that I get a good look at the bathroom and what needs to be done Already I've opened the cupboard I see the toilet paper needs to be uh, restocked and also the one that was on the roll we've run out of that so looking behind the, the bathroom door it's always good to have a look and the window ledge now the window ledge I'm talking to myself here Window ledge is some, something that's missed a lot in the bathrooms and cabins. And checking the fan. So you're looking all the time, but you can't expect your staff to do everything all the time. So you might pick a week and say, right, we're going to do all our, all our fans this week. And as the units become clear, get cleaned or serviced, uh, We've actually just done a service here, but because it had private stuff in there, couldn't show you that one. But that was unique in itself. So uh, when people are staying for a month, they like to set up a little bit different. We should accommodate that. But it doesn't, you might think if you haven't done it, or you don't know, you've just bought a motel, you don't know the routine. You might think, oh, it's only a service, so it should take a lot less. It actually doesn't. Because you're working around people's private possessions, it's 
slows you down and you can actually service an empty hotel or cabin or executive suite quicker when it's empty. So we're looking at rubbish, uh, the hand soap needs to be clean, turn out. Have a look at my single room. I'll show you that. So you're looking skirting boards. I'm going to show you how to use the mop on the skirting boards. So this isn't this hasn't been used. Um, the single, but <laughs> the dust is still there. So we still have to mop under the beds. So I've now checked it all for rubbish. And unless we have the oil surprises come out from under the bed, I get rid of that because that'll be smelly. Um, and I noticed our deodorant or smelly thing, this thing, had been sitting outside for some reason and it does smell in here. So I'm going to screw that back in. We've still got half a bottle, that's about four days worth. And while I'm here, I'll set it on high, and then I'll set it down um, as we go through. Now, as you can see, I've done an assessment of the whole place, and I know what needs to be done. So the first thing I do is get rid of the big item, which is the bed, the biggest bed, which is the double. Where although this sleeps uh, four, we've only had. Um, the double used so we're doing the double we're also changing uh, doonas here now that's back to you whether you change doonas every time or you change it uh, every three or four days really like in the service I, that I just did, the people that are staying there don't use the doona, they just have a blanket on. A very thin blanket because it's pretty hot in this location at the moment. So we just change, change that for them. And the uh, doona is in storage in their single beds. So, how, how do I do? A double bed. Now, this is somewhere you can stuff and lose time. Sometimes I do. So when you're doing a doona or duvet, somebody wants to ask me about that. First of all, skin it and work out which is. longest part and I have this crazy system that tells me that the needles run the wrong way. So it should be going that way. So I just leave it down beside the bed and we'll put it back. So someone here in the staff don't realise that doing the, the inners aren't square but rectangles and you do have to get it right. So we're looking for stains on that on the uh, mattress protection. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to show you. So, unfortunately, we've got two sets of sheets. <laughs> both pink, both white. Okay, so, pink and blue, single. Pink and blue. Single, you can tell by, by the size of it. So, we don't need that. This one. Bit, bit bigger, pink and red are the queens. 
so we know, know where we're going. So you notice that I've put the pillows all in one location, and you'll see my routine of doing pillows and everything as we go. But as I said, this is a cabin, takes longer. You're driving to it, you're pulling all your stuff off your cart, and um, Everyone's going to do their bed a bit differently. Let your staff pick their system. So it's fitting these fitted sheets. This mattress is okay. The new mattresses now are thicker. And some staff, without being sexist, the, some of the ladies find it hard fitting those sheets. So get or buy the bigger queens or because you can't fit it down and trying to edge it on and over is quite hard. Okay, you open up your white sheet, top sheet, and I'm not trying to tell you suck eggs or anything like that, this is just my system. A good laundry is a middle to every sheet. You can see it as I shake it out. There, and pull it back. Turn you over so you can see it. There's your middle, and there's a fold this way that will be about the length of a queen bed. And that's what I aim at with my throw. So, you just adjust it over, just enough down on this side. Over this side a wee bit too much. As I pull it out, see my middle's moved over to the wall. I'm just going to pull it back. And yes, I do spend time on the bed. I think the bed is one of the most important parts of any accommodation. It looks okay to me. I have a look. Take a bit of time. Hold the one of the first four back, tuck it in. Now I'm going to do an army army quarter. Get that at 16. See a couple of my old army mates will be laughing at this. And you pull it tight. Sometimes you get that, sometimes you don't. So it's nice and tight across. Army corner. Now I'll put my hand in. I'll show you this. Some people don't know how to do it. Right. So there it is. So it's just hanging like that. I pull it back. Put my hand in, in and under. There. Bring it forward. So just that little cleat there and it makes it really easy now to tuck in the end that's all you've got hanging out you're not lifting the whole mattress yeah there's the top part of the, the bed done and however many seconds it took seconds a minute but I put a lot of emphasis on the bed yeah there's an order to, to most things and here they know the order that I want for the flows. So we're now putting our pillowcases on. So the opening will go into the middle. 
Now all of these protectors <laughs> have expiry dates. Can you see that? January 2024. So we'll get those, those uh, changed this week. But just check them, little thing. Uh, we're a few days behind, it's now what, January 7th, oh, February 7th, sorry. So just working through But always look around. You're looking around for dusting that needs to be done. You can't dust the whole thing. You can't do everything. It's got ceiling fans and vents. But you can keep it up to date. So an important part, if you can get your staff to do glass on a daily basis, and it's really easy. If it's only done weekly, glass takes a long time and you never get it perfect. So that is one, one thing I try to get people to do is glass. And mopping, here we've got, you've probably noticed the floors are, are a lino. So, oops. Now, here we go. So don't hesitate to throw something back into the wash cycle. Um, that's just one of those things. A lot easier than trying to keep it. A couple of pillowcases from the last slot. And they touch the rag, so straight into the wash cycle. There we go. So pillows, you'll notice the, the op open ends are all in the centre. Now I set them some put them up in a different way, that's great. Let your staff do it whichever way they want to do it. And the rooms will be different and that's okay. Don't need to micromanage them. Let them have a bit of responsibility. So I turned it inside out. You've gone that way. Already turned it inside out. <laughs> this is a Joni way of doing it. My late mother taught me this. corners when I do pull it all together and that tells you if we put it around the right way or not yeah ready to button it up So now, once I've done the, the uh, towels, 
and the face cloths and the soap shampoos on the bed. That's my bed done. Just really, really good. I'm happy to have the bed done. Now, if I'd had the singles, two singles as well, I would have stripped them all first. And um, actually on this location, uh, three of the cabins have bunks. And bunks are really interesting. And I hope to actually do that. Pull that up there. It's quite pretty, isn't it? Pull that close. Once again, everybody does it differently, but that's my method. I just bring it up so you've got about a two finger thing showing the fitted uh, the white sheet, fitted sheet, doing it. All looking nice and pretty. So we've got two matching towels. They're going to have to, obviously, towels aren't new, they go to the, to the laundry. Over time, the cotton shrinks because of the hot water. But you can just present it nicely. Now, I could cheat and show you an existing um, thing. Presentation. Thanks for that. That's marked. But I'm not, I'm going to show you how I do it. That was how one of the other cleaners, um, or one of the cleaners does it. I do a more of a masculine presentation. Not as good as the ladies, I admit that. But, for me, it's just simple. Because I know grabbing some of those fancy ones when I'm tired and I walk into, I'm staying in a motel, I walk in and it's, you drop stuff and it annoys you. Okay, I'm just going to go out and get everything. So this is a bin It's a bin full of all the stuff and the uh, cleaning rags, red and blue um, So I need a conditioner, no shampoo Here we have it, bed is done Around. So now it is spray time. This is COVID spray, and obviously, um, COVID spray is not very important. The shower unit, sink, and the toilet. I also do the sink, bench top. Pretty important not to get. Um, Soaking all that. Right. Here's the toilet paper. Every unit has three toilet papers in general, bags, and sanitary bags. So, we are looking at the other one. Obviously, 
spray the pavement wipe, I also use a window cleaner. Gonna pause, gotta go out to the uh, cart. So we just had to go and pick up uh, the new dishwashing liquid. We're throwing that one out. And the cabins you actually display stuff. Um, and the hand sanitizer bathroom. So bags. So you knot them, so they're nice and tight. Now another secret little thing, you put a hole in it. Now what that does is let the air out, so rubbish can actually go down into the bag and it doesn't hold it all up. So anything like the paper and towels, go in. Now, they're old. Um, just watch them quick and go out. New ones in. That's all good. Alright, so the bathroom's done. They're looking pretty good. Yeah. That's it. it. Uh, the tissues at the end of life, we'll get those just before we go. And then we are looking at a bag for the bin. Checking the bin hasn't got any leaks in it. These are just little things your staff are gonna pick up as they go on. Don't be too hard on them. When you first buy your motel, your pub, commercially cleaning, I don't know what works. And also you've got, they're not going back to the same room or unit or cabin every time. So that makes it a bit harder as well. So you just notice the little things. Like the, um, the lid of the uh, rubbish. Yeah, we want this place now. So once again, I've now finished with the bathroom that just needs to be mopped. So the reed rag's gone. Um, all the linens in there, actually that can go in. So I tend to put stuff outside once I've used it. 
Can it just give you a clear run? You know what you're looking at? So, here we've got double doors, always around the handles. Now I double, I do these completely, every time. But I find that it's so much seat. I remember it was the last clean that did the same. So it's so much easier just to run over it straight away. I'm going to do the outside while I'm here. So the outside was a bit dirtier, it hadn't been done on the, the non-sliding part. Just going through. I've just done a quick check of the, where are we? Just did a quick check of the uh, single. Single wasn't used, two single beds. So do all, all your glass first. So you see, I'm trying to move around the glass table on the side. I do the glass table outside if I've got a table outside last. Um, tends to be a bit dirty, a dirty rag. Now this has chrome faucets, so they always have to be done with glass cleaner. Microwaves. Check them, give them a wipe. This one hasn't been used, but still just to get a smell. Check your cupboards, they're all good. I'd say this lady was pretty clean. This still give you fridge, door a wipe. This is always missed. So it's a shiny surface, gets hand uh, fingerprints and smudges, and it's the same with your cupboards. Your drawers. Let's give them a quick wipe. So this is a stainless steel sink. Once again, it had COVID spray on it, but finish it off with glass cleaner, window cleaner, and it leaves it nice and clean. Now here we put the jug back out. Plug it in. Make sure it's off. We also I'm just going to turn the smelly thing down. Check our tea and coffee. Here we have these guys give it a good supply. And that's there. Walking and not seen. So 
So we didn't get a tea towel in our supply. That's okay. Go and get one of those. Go and finish cleaning. So. The only other thing we're looking at now, giving everything a wipe, good wipe down. Oops, sorry about that. We are about to vacuum a mop. So I'll take everything out now and uh, we're ready to go. I leave a blue rag in my pocket just as we're going out because I always see something. So, this is our bin full of stuff. We've left our little rag underneath and uh, it's got a new dishwasher liquid, new hand soap. Uh, it's got a new toilet paper we might put another one in there. Um, and there you have it, have it, I've just got floors to do, so Thirty-seven minutes to date. So the mop will pick up quite a bit as well, but we're just going to pick up this here. This one's pretty tidy, but a lot of tradies are using the motels and cabins and everything, and they don't mean to, but they just bring in stones and things. Bear with me. So. Under the beds, give it a quick back. I'm going to mop them anyway. Uh, just a quick back around the place. Oh, so
not for the rest of the unit. So you're going to see in here, it's a bit used, but it still collects dust, so I want to go straight under the beds. And it is dusty at the moment. You'll see whoever did these beds last that the uh, It's a bit different to how I did them. Don't matter. As long as they look good, they have been made up properly. Um, Sometimes you just pick something up. Put the right. Popping this one out now. Oh, I'll show you how to do skirting boards. If you might, you don't have to get down on your hands and knees. So there's your skirting board, you run your mop head, put, put, apply a bit of pressure, grab anything out. Right into the corners, move it back. Perfect. So if you teach your staff how to use a mop, it's pretty important. Once again, I go under the beds. So we we vacuumed under there, but the mop just takes oops. I'm not seeing like much, but if you do this every so often, it doesn't have to be done every day. Now once again do my skirting board, bam! Done. No major. But just teach yourself how to do that. Teach them how to use them wrong. Now, whoever the lady or whoever it was was in here, cooked, putting the new deodorizer on. It's taken the smell almost right away. There we have it. Got one thing to do with the red rag. Choose the bin top. I got that right. Last but not least, just have a look around, walk around, just check ledges and things, so it all looks pretty good. Bed looks good, done my mirror, bathroom looks good, oh, just check my mirror, done my ledge. So. We are ready to go. Just in case you want to see, there you go, all the stuff's out there. If you want to know more about the chemicals, give us a bell 040 297 0217. Happy to train staff, um, but that gives you an insight into, into what's involved and um, you'll be able to improve on, on all those points. Thanks very much and give us a bell if you've got any questions. Email me or text me questions. Suppliers, good chemicals make the cleanest jobs much easier. And don't, I suppose, I was in a motel just recently, they had the forms for the cleaners to fill out. 
I'm not in favor of the forms. Cleaners are pretty good. They do it. They're pretty honest. So um, trust them. Just give them themes. Skirting boards this week. Um, fans or or vents one week. Glass one week. But they should be doing glass every every day. But don't be too hard on them. And don't yeah. If you're not too hard on them, they'll pick it up. Give them three months. It takes time. Okay, that's me for now. Got a bit of a sweat up. And uh, I hope to have some other stuff uh, coming online as well. Bye.